Ventilation error. Ventilation error. <laughs> Ventilation error.
Hey, you're back! Glad to see you still want to work here. We don't get people like you around here. <laughs> uh, anyways, the staff found out that there are these loose wires hanging from the walls. We've actually borrowed some wires from the storage unit we used to keep the old clones and animatronics in. Uh, things happened there that we really shouldn't talk about. <laughs> anyway, hopefully they didn't get stepped on too much. That could possibly cause a fire. We wouldn't want that. But I mean... There'd have to be so many other things, too, like, I don't know, gasoline, leaving a heater on, and... S sorry, I'm getting a little too deep into this. So, uh, I've been feeling a weird presence here recently for some reason. I don't know what it is, but we gave you a mask just to be safe. I'm pretty sure the mask and audio works on those broken animatronics. So if they get to your office, you can use the mask to trick them, and you can also lure them away. But I doubt they'll come out. Oh, and here's a little factoid. The animatronic Mario can't hear, so audio may not work on him. Anyways, good night. See you tomorrow. Ventilation error. <laughs> Ventilation error.
Hey, third night! Doing good! Did anything unusual happen last night? Eh, I doubt it, since nothing should have happened. One of the animatronics, the Yoshi one, doesn't even have legs, so her moving would be a little... odd. Also, don't ask about her weird claws. We don't know how she got them or who gave them to her. Probably a worker trying to have fun. <laughs> so, uh, I've been told to point out something about one of the past restaurants. Apparently there was this incident known as the Bite of 91. According to what I've been told, one of the characters just went and bit a part of someone's head. We don't know who was the victim, but apparently they survived somehow. On the topic of old characters, that toad in the back room, it's probably no worry. No way it can hurt you. It has a circle on it, and it's very small, so you should be fine. But he does have a tendency to break stuff that have a relation to electricity and energy, say like a flashlight. So he may try to get to the generator source in the breaker room. I'm pretty sure that's correct. Unfortunately, the audio won't work on him because the audio is his voice. But just make sure to reboot the generator if he gets there. He sometimes did this before when he was older, but now he only does it at night, so it isn't as much of a problem in the day now. But remember, when the generator has an error, reset it in the SHPP 3000 pad. Anyways, good night and good luck! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 